Welcome back to the Teach Me CQL series. This series is presented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. It is intended to support healthcare quality leaders, health IT vendors, and measure developers explore the use of clinical quality language, or CQL. In this segment, we'll discuss the concept of choice in CQL values. CQL supports many different types of values as the output of an expression. As we see here in the CQL specification, CQL supports several categories of values. Simple values, such as strings, numbers, and dates. Clinical values, such as quantities, ratios, and value sets. Structured values, called tuples, such as medications, encounters, and patients. Lists, which can contain any number of elements of the same type. Intervals, which define ranges of ordered values, such as numbers or dates. Measure developers can write expressions that ask for or cast the requested data as a certain type. For example, in CMS 334, Caesarean Birth, there are several functions that cast the result as an integer. One example is the last history preterm birth function shown here. You can see at the end of the function the phrase result as integer, indicating the data type choice. Another example comes from CMS 165, controlling high blood pressure, where the lowest systolic reading definition is looking for the result as a quantity. So what does this mean when it is time to report the data from this measure? As we find in the CMS QRDA IG, the guidance is for measure expressions where result values are cast as a specific type, such as result as integer, result as quantity, and result as date time. Result values shall also be cast to their corresponding HL7 V3 data types when reporting in QRDA to ensure appropriate evaluation. We provide that guidance in a table format here. As you can see, the common CQL data types used in eCQMs are listed in the left-hand side, integer, quantity, and date time, while the corresponding HL7B3 data type is listed in the right-hand column, INT, PQ, and TS. You now have a better understanding of the choice types in CQL and what they mean when reporting eCQMs using the QRDA standard. Come back for our next installment where we will discuss evaluating birth dates.